Backman with the CNET How To. If you've been wondering how to connect your iOS device to your TV, now's a good time to try it out. Getting a crowd to huddle around an iPhone could get a little awkward, so here's how to share a movie, show a presentation, or even play a game on the big screen. Apple sells a few cords and adapters, but which one should you use? You want to pick the one that will give you the most bang for your buck, and that's what I'm here for. You might have heard of Apple's new HDMI adapter. It mirrors exactly what you've seen here on your iPad 2 onto your TV. It is an adapter, so you'll need your own HDMI cord. But once you're there, everything can be mirrored in 1080p. Except movies. They're mirrored in 720p. Games have huge potential for the setup. I tried Real Racing HD, which worked great, because you don't have to look at the iPad and the TV at the same time. Other games like Angry Birds are less practical on the big screen. Unless you're showing off to a big group of people. This cord can also be used with the iPad, iPhone 4, and 4th generation iPod Touch. But you'll only be able to play slideshows and some applications with video, like YouTube, Netflix, or movies you saved on your iPod. Apple's digital AV adapter routes your display in the highest quality. But if you have an older device or you don't have an HDMI-ready TV, try the component cable. It won't do mirroring, but you can play slideshows and videos in 480p or 480i. If you need to do a PowerPoint presentation, save the slides as images, sync them to your library, and play the photos as a slideshow. If you have an older TV without HDMI or component inputs, you can use Apple's composite cable. Like the component cables, you'll only be able to play video apps that support it. Once you've picked the right cable, just connect your device to your TV and pick the input source. When you play the media on your device, it'll show up on your screen. Apple TV owners can use the AirPlay feature and avoid cables altogether. Connect your device to the same Wi-Fi network as your Apple TV and select the video you want to watch. You'll see a new AirPlay button. Just tap it, select Apple TV, and it'll start streaming. Word on the street is that we might see more applications become compatible with these display options. Rage HD is the only game i found that supports video out, but if you know of another, let me know. You can tweet me at Sharon Vack. For CNET.com, I'm Sharon Vaknin, and I'll see you on the interwebs.